Hello guys, welcome back and this is the continuation video of the IVL tree introduction and insertion portion. So uh, last video we saw all this uh, rotation and stuff like what is AVL tree, why you need AVL tree and what are different rotations. So we have total four rotations to take care when you deal with the AVL. So now in this video, as I said, we will have a next video for deletion. So this is how you will delete elements or nodes, whatever. So this is your root uh, and we have these many numbers here. We can circle them. Not looking good, right? Okay, so this is your root and you can see that, okay, this is binary search tree, a balanced binary search tree. This is generated with the help of AVL. So this is the list you will delete from this one by one and we'll see how we'll delete that. And I think I have found a very typical way to explain the deletion because so many people fail to understand and explain these things. And you already know what is AVL and insertion part. So you must be knowing what is the balancing factor. So now in deletion, you will delete a node and calculate the balancing factor for all the nodes. Okay, so let's start. We'll start from this 18. And this is the place. We'll just simply delete this. After deleting, let's look at the balancing factor. So if you see now the balancing factor of this 14 would be zero because there is nothing left and right. This is like one. Uh, let me know in the comment section if I did something wrong in calculation because I'm in hurry a little bit. So you know the concept, right? Like why you will put this zero and one. So this left minus right hand side would be the number or the balancing factor. Okay. So now you see that, okay, your balancing factor should be either one, zero, I mean, minus one. So either of these should be there. So we see there is no disbalance here so far. So let's go for 17 now. And if you will delete this 17, this is very interesting now. Or wait a minute, let me change this deletion order. I just wrote this randomly. It is not making very big difference because if you will delete this one, this 14 will go here. I mean, there is no much to think about it. But the deletion rule is exactly like binary search so if you delete a node rule is either you will take in order predecessors highest number see this is a node and these are the possibilities because it is binary search tree and you will have full left hand side whole tree and another right hand side full big tree okay and now you are deleting this what you can choose is either you have to take the largest number from left hand side or the smallest number from the right hand side and if you and if you find this thing difficult to remember i have another way to explain this let's suppose i'm deleting 24 now what would come at 24th place if you understand understood that correctly then either this or this can be the number to go here why let's see that so if you can visualize this tree in a array. Let me draw that. That helps a lot. Actually, people don't understand this with the help of array. If they will start understanding this with the help of array, it will be very easy. So if you see this, actually this 14, 17, 21, they all are already lined up. I have not drawn them in such a way. See, and then we have this, 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 and this. So this is first. So let's put this 14, 17, 21, 22, 23, 24, 26. Now notice this, I'm writing 26 because if you will see this tree from top, from here, if your projection is from here, you will see all these nodes in a sorted order, okay? If you're an engineer, you have this vision to see this tree from top. These whole nodes will look something like this, 26. And then you have 27, 29, and 30, 63, and 70. This is how it is going to look like. Okay. Now tell me, if you delete this, what should be the number which should take the position? Either this guy or this guy, right? So that's what, 23 or 26. It is very easy if you can visualize this because I have not created this tree in a good way so that I have to take these zigzag order. But if you will visualize it, actually this 23 is 
exactly beside 24 and this 26 is beside 20. This is really cool to understand this right? Why you will delete 24 and replace with 23 and 26 because you want to keep the order sorted. So you only have these two options right? Yeah. So let's look at the problem. Let's assume that you deleted 24 because this is the hardest one. Deleting the root is always the hardest one to understand. If you understood that, you know the intermediate stuff, no problem. So let's suppose you deleted 24 and you have written the algorithm which is always going to take the right hand side one. I mean, it's your choice. I'm taking this one. So this 26 is deleted and it will go to 24th place. Now, do you see any change required? I don't think. Everything is already in the place. Now, as you have placed this 26 here, we will just quickly see the order of all these nodes. There is no change here. And this is going to be zero now. This is zero, zero, zero. And this is like minus one now. And this is still be zero. So we are good. Now there is no imbalance. And if you're deleting and this is getting imbalanced, then you have these rules. It is very easy. You can follow these rules. You have already watched my previous video. We'll not going to repeat that. So you know what to do when some imbalance happens, right? So the only question was how you will delete the node. And I have told you that either you will take the biggest one from the left hand side or the smallest one from the right hand side. And the complexities goes like this. You have insertion time complexity is log n because you always have divided this into two. Oh yeah. So base two. Okay. So log two n and search is also the same. We have log two n because you will search in a logarithmic fashion and every time you will remove half of your search space and similarly goes for the delete log to n. So here worst case complexity is also log to n. This is really good, right? Oh, it is giving some different meaning log n base two. Yeah. So this is balancing so this is balanced binary search tree. That's why you are getting this log to n in worst case. If it is just binary search tree, then the worst case is n. We know that, right? I started this whole thing with the right skewed or left skewed. So if your data is in right skewed or left skewed manner, your search will take this much or worst case complexity is this much, which is not good, even if you have BST. So that's why there is some problem with the BST. It can go like right skewed or left skewed and it can be badly balanced and we may have to pay the price for that. So that's why AVL is a clear winner there. It will balance your tree and it will not allow tree to grow further until unless it is filled. Okay, so if this is how your tree would look like mostly, it will always be filled. But in simple BST, it can look like this like it is growing in this order i mean not exactly this it can go either this or this now as i said avl is a clear winner there is another good self-balancing binary search tree and that is called red black tree that we'll see in another video and i'll have a separate video why a red black tree is good or better than avl tree because it is a better self-balancing binary search tree and people say that this is what is used in our STD map, what we use in our C++. So I'm done here. Thanks for watching, guys. Love you. Take care. Bye-bye.